Welcome to this video, it's all about large multi-lane roundabouts, how to approach the roundabouts, how to stay safe on the roundabout and how to get off the large roundabout safely. This video specifically talks about Orange Street roundabout in Halifax, but whether you're from Halifax or not, watch the video and you can use the techniques in it to help you become a safer driver on the large roundabouts in your area. So let's take a look at the first example. So you'll see in this next example that we're approaching in the left hand lane of the two that we have a choice from because the left hand lane goes towards Keefley and that's the direction we want to go. Keefley is the second exit over here. The markings on the floor and the signs both tell you that you need the left lane of the two and the right lane actually goes towards Leeds. Now a new lane is created here, it goes towards Burnley, but we're not going towards Burnley, we're going towards Keefley. So we will choose this lane here. As we come past the traffic lights we want to keep the left position. The lane does split into two around here, both of which say Keefley, but we want to stay in the left of the two if we have a choice. The right lane goes towards Leeds and that splits itself a little bit further around. But we're going towards Keefley. And we want to exit in this direction, keeping well over to the left. Remember there are two lanes that go towards Keefley, but we're staying in the left of the two. So we're coming down this road, we're already signalling left because we're going left of the traffic lights. There are people around the corner, so that lets them know that we're coming towards them. Now we're trying to follow the sign to Keefley. So if you look at the sign, it says it's straight ahead of the roundabout, which will usually be the left-hand lane, and that's confirmed by the floor. So we stay in the left-hand lane on approach to the roundabout because the right-hand lane is for right turns only. So because the pause will become away, I've put the parking brake on and we're just waiting patiently now for the second set of traffic lights to change. Sometimes it's hard to see past the bus, but you can lean round and see what's going on. And you can see now we're sticking to this left hand lane. Now there is another lane created on the left that goes towards Burnley, but we don't want that, we're going towards Keefley. Now you can see our lane splits into two and they both say Keefley, K-L-Y. So we stay in the left of the two lanes if we've got a choice. Always try and stick to the left of the two lanes if you have a choice of two. So coming around this bend nice and steady and then if we needed to we could make progress past the bus in the new road. On this example we're not going to be coming from the town centre going towards Keefley but we are going straight ahead this time coming across Burdock Way going towards Burnley. You can see on the floor markings here that we can use both lanes to go straight ahead but we're going to choose the left of the two. Most of the time you should stick to the left of the two if you have a choice of lanes, unless you know you need the right lane further ahead. An example of when you might use this right hand lane of the two is if further ahead when you come off the roundabout, you're going to be turning right a little bit further up. We're not going to be doing that, we're just going to continue along towards Burnley. So we're keeping to the left lane and exiting in the left of the two, continuing up the road. We'll check the mirrors, we're not going to signal because we're going straight ahead, second exit, we're going towards Burnley. So we use the left hand lane, both say that they go straight ahead, but on this occasion we're using the left of the two if we have a choice. We can hear the sirens, there's a lot of sirens near here because there's an ambulance station. So I wait just behind the line until the ambulance has got out of my way. Once it's out of the way I can continue along because the lights are still on green. Sticking to the left lane. There's two that say Burnley, I'm staying in the left of the two, exiting the roundabout in the left of the two, and then continuing up the road. In this next example, we're going towards Burnley, but we're not approaching from this side to go straight ahead. This time we're approaching from over here, and we're going to turn right at the roundabout to go towards Burnley. So we'll be approaching in the right-hand lane. When the lights change, we'll be coming out into the right-hand lane. Anyone in the left lane, their lane splits into three. So they can go towards Leeds in either of these two lanes, or they can go towards the town centre, which is straight ahead in the left of the two lanes. Now it also says town centre on the floor for us. So we could go to the town centre in this lane, or we can do the right turn, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to stay in the right lane to turn right. 
like I said before, we could actually go straight ahead and exit the roundabout here to go towards the town centre because it says it on the floor. Anyone in the left of the two lanes that's come from here should be going towards the town centre or maybe into the car park as this lane splits into two. They can go into the car park up here. So anyone in this lane that's going to the town centre should stay in this lane and then they should exit the roundabout in the middle lane of the three staying over here. It's hard to tell on the floor but these little markings here are the side of their lane. So their lane continues round and that's the way they should exit. You'll see in the video that a black car comes round here and although they should be going this way they change their mind and actually come round to the right cutting across my path. Now I'm always aware of that as I'm coming round. It looks a bit strange, it looks a bit awkward so some people just don't get it. But as you come round here, always watch out for people that have got in the wrong lane who may want to actually come round. But I manage to avoid them and then as my lane splits into three here, I take up the left of the three, the left of the two that are going towards Burnley. If I wanted to go all the way around the roundabout, I would stay in the right hand lane towards Keithley and then this lane would split into three as we pass this Burnley exit. You can see on the floor that it says Burnley in the right hand lane. It's also confirmed on this sign, Burnley is a right turn. So when I see that, I'm going to check the mirrors, interior and right, signal right if it's safe and then move across into the right hand lane. I'll start a fresh routine to turn right at the roundabout, so again mirrors, signal, manoeuvre, and we have to wait by the lights. So we're going to use the right hand lane to turn right at the roundabout. You can also go straight ahead, second exit in this lane. Same with the left hand lane, you can go straight ahead or you can go left. As we set off, you see some people go over to the left and then you see other cars going straight ahead with us. We're staying in the right hand lane. Anyone to our left should be either going towards the town centre or going into the car park in that new lane on the left. You can see this car got it wrong, they were in the wrong lane to go all the way around. I'll just check the mirror there on the left hand side and then get into the left lane of the three. So like I said before, the lane split into three and we want to exit in the furthest left lane possible. Now more ambulances because often there are ambulances around here. The lights are on red at the moment but they could change at any time. So we just want to make sure that the ambulance is out of the way before we set off. Now we're not going straight towards Burnley this time, we're going to actually come off of this road up the slip road. So mirrors, signal left and exit and then we want to make sure we stay in the right hand lane of the two because we're turning right at the top of this road. So in this example we're coming from the road that comes from Burnley and we're going all the way around and exiting towards the town centre. Similar to what we did last time, staying in the right hand lane. Both of these lanes go straight ahead but the right hand lane also goes right. So straight ahead is towards Leeds in this direction. If we were going towards Leeds, we would choose the left of the two lanes, but because we're turning right, we choose the only lane that does go right at this moment. So as we come out onto the roundabout in the right lane, you can see here that our right lane splits into two, one of which goes towards Leeds, and then the other one is the one that goes towards the town centre, which is where we're going. So we're going to stay in the right lane as it splits into two because we don't want to go to Leeds, we want to go to Town Centre. Now when the lights change, or if we can continue, as we come round here, we've got two that say Town Centre. So our lane splits again into two. Anyone that wants to go to Leeds should be in one of these two lanes. So we should be able to come across and pick up the left of the two lanes marked Town Centre. And that's where we come across here and stay in the left of the two. Now there's that one that goes towards the car park, which we're not going to go into. We're going to stay in this one. And we're going to exit the roundabout in the way that the black car in the previous video should have done. In this direction, choosing the left of the two that go towards the town centre. This time we're also turning right at the roundabout, heading towards the town centre. It's marked on the floor that the right lane goes towards the town centre and it goes straight ahead towards Leeds. The lane on our left also goes straight ahead towards Leeds. 
So there's going to be two lanes going towards Leeds, and then eventually we'll have one that says Town Centre. So here it says Leeds and Town Centre, and our splits into two. The right lane for Town Centre, and then our splits into two again. Two of which go towards the Town Centre, and we're using the left of those two. Again, it creates a new lane on the left that goes towards the car park. So when the lights change, we're following the road ahead. You can see it says car park on the left there. We're in the left of the two going towards the town centre. Anyone to our right could be coming straight ahead in the right of the two lanes, but we exit in the left of the two lanes marks town centre. Another right turn example coming up. This time we are coming from the town centre and we choose the right lane of the two. We're heading towards Leeds. So we choose the right lane to turn right at the roundabout to come all the way around and exit over here towards Leeds. So we're in the right hand lane and as we come up here you can see that this is the Leeds one. Hard to see on the floor but we can see that the other one is the one that splits into two and they both go towards Keefley like in the first clip in this video. So we'll be coming over here, staying in the right hand lane towards Leeds. Now as we come round and we pass this bit here, our lane splits into two. Now both of them say Leeds, like we explained in the last clip where we came from this way, but we would like the left of the two. So as we come round here, we're getting the left of the two towards Leeds. You see down here that you're keeping the left hand lane. This right of the two towards Leeds splits into two. And if you found yourself in this right hand lane, you could then just take up the right of the two that go towards Leeds. The other one would go all the way around to then go towards the town centre. So we'll be coming across into the left lane so that we exit over towards the left hand side. We then continue around and exit in the left hand lane. So here we're coming round to the left, following the signs for Leeds. As we come round the corner we'll be able to see a sign that tells us that Leeds is a right turn at the roundabout. So that's the third exit. So check the mirrors and position early in the right hand lane. Confirmed on the floor that the right hand lane is the one that goes right and the left lane goes straight ahead and left. So we're signalling right to confirm that we're going all the way around the roundabout to the right and then we stop in the queue. Just waiting patiently there, giving ourselves enough room that we would be able to get past the bus if it broke down. And there the lights change, we're staying in the right hand lane. It's marked Leeds and the one to our left is marked Keepley. Now the one to our left splits into two. We're going to stay in the right hand lane. Then those lanes on the left are going to disappear towards Keepley. Our lane initially splits into two, where the right one goes towards the town centre and Leeds, and the one that we're in there goes towards Leeds. We're choosing the left of the two that go towards Leeds. To the right then, that right lane splits into two, the left one of those two goes to Leeds, and then the far right lane goes towards the town centre, and again splits, but we're just staying well over to the left, keeping to the left lane, and exiting the roundabout. There wouldn't really be a need to signal because we're just staying in that left lane and no one's waiting on our signal. On this final example we're coming from this road here and we want to follow the road ahead towards the town centre which is over here. Now the left lane goes left and ahead, the right lane goes right and ahead. So this lane splits here, we could go towards Leeds but we're going to come out to go towards the town centre. We choose the left of the two lanes and then the people to our right can go out into the right of the two lanes. They may be going all the way around towards Burnley or they may want to exit the roundabout in the right hand lane of the two to go towards the town centre. But we're going to maintain our position in the left of the two lanes that go towards the town centre and then we should come round and exit in the left of the two. But on the example I'm about to show you, there's a queue of traffic in the new road.
which blocks the roundabout here and which would cause an issue for cars coming out of here if they wanted to go straight ahead. So as I get to this point here, I realise there's going to be a blockage. I check the mirrors, signal right. It happens quite quick, but I have checked to make sure it's safe. And then I move across into the right-hand lane and exit the roundabout in the right-hand lane. So sometimes it is necessary to exit in the right-hand lane. And on this occasion, it's so that I don't block the roundabout in the queue as the lights may be about to change. So this time we're going to follow the road ahead towards the town centre. We're choosing the left of the two lanes. Both lanes actually go towards the town centre. We're just choosing the left of the two to make it easier to maintain that left normal driving position. Now always try and use the left of the two lanes if you've got a choice. But here I'll show an example of when you would use the right hand lane. So a bit of a wait there but when we get moving we use the left of the two that go towards the town centre. As we come out onto the roundabout there are two lanes to the left that go towards Leeds, but we're just going to stay out to the right, just keeping to the left of that marking, so we stay in the correct lane. Now just as we come round this corner, there's a bit of a queue, and that's blocking the road that I'm entering. So I check the mirrors, signal right, and I can actually use the right hand lane of the two, then to make progress and get safely out of the way, in case the lights change. Now all we do then, we're in the right hand lane of the two, We'd need to get back over to the left at some point, unless we were turning right further up. But you can see by this sign, we can actually use both lanes to go round to the right. But then we would find a way of getting back over to the left when it's safe to do so. If you can, just stay in the left of the two lanes to make it easy for yourself. 